Hello everyone, Shaz here back at you with another G vlog video today. I'm gonna quickly disassemble this G303B, which is not new at all. I already disassembled uh, a G300 series before on the channel, but this is a G303 and the engine looks different. So why not uh, try to disassemble the watch and have a look at those parts up close instead. So now here we are, here is all the parts that came along that made up the watch of course. Uh, I need to mention real quick that these models have slightly different construction than this. I mean uh, as far as the design goes, especially the ring over here, they are a lot more smoother. The bezels is pretty much the same but this uh, back cushion is slimmer compared to the one on this G7700 series model. So there is something new that I find out and this is the back plate. Uh, at the outside, the interior have this AG45 code in there, just in case you are wondering. This is the O-ring, which shape differently as well compared to the one on here. So that's that. Let me put this on the back. The hard case looks incredibly simple compared to this watch as well. So I gotta say this 7700 series is much more superior. Look at that. It looks really, really simple, really clean, not as rugged. The buttons is square, no more uh, protection, of course. The glass somehow sits a little bit high on top of there but that is not an issue at all and this is all the things that i could remove from this g-shock watch it has four button operation only i'm gonna need to clean all this after this so i still have to disassemble it like it or not the most interesting part this is the engine it features two battery as far as i could see of course pretty cool all right that's nice and it also has a really interesting design on the watch face look at that Ooh, incredible now that I could see it up close it looks much much better look at all the details I believe this should be the faceplate for the watch let me try to remove it though they usually uh, just look at that pin it in there shouldn't be hard to remove it let me try there it is so that's how you remove this part of the watch this part usually made out of metal like that all right put this thing over here so it does consist a lot more tiny parts you didn't receive a lot of functions but you do have a lot of these parts tiny little details they made up the watch incredible details so that's as far as the watch face now let me fully disassemble this engine and we'll uh, move on from there So starting off with the hands, this is the minutes and also the hour hand which just been removed. Let me show you guys up close. That is how it looks like which is pretty unique by the way. Look at that. If you are thinking about customizing this uh, hands, you this is the way you do it. Just pull it out. I use my nail to pull it out because I haven't trimmed it yet so it kind of coming handy in this type of situation. Just uh, hook it like that and then pull it up straight upwards. Next thing that amazed me is this watch face. Incredible details. Look at all this uh, aluminum uh, frame. Now we could have a closer look to all of them, which is amazing. I like that. The back part goes 
pretty basic by the way and this is the connector they literally put all those on the polar polarizer sheets so technically you cannot customize this to a negative display version if you wanted to or any colorway at all without uh, affecting this silver thingy on top so that is incredible details all right i like that and this is the el backlighting sheets from the back so this arrow pointing to to put this upwards and this is how it looks like at the front so basically everything lights on but somehow being filtered out with this uh, part and thus have certain areas glows brighter than the other areas this is the part that holds these sheets and also this connector into place basically to fill in the gap that is there and this is the engine the circuit board for the watch let's have a look uh, close so 310QM4689 module look pretty complicated I gotta say that and this is how it looks like at the back that is the processing unit somehow came in different colorway all right not to complain just something to point out this to this where the uh, EL panel was connected this is the connector for the display panel all right and this is a two gold spring to connect to the EL sheets of course and this is the display panel compartment with this uh, tape on the side or cushion just to fill in the gap in this uh, model to make sure that everything didn't move around and i believe this is it this is the battery compartment and also the analog hands uh, module in there so there's two battery down here there's the spring that connects to the circuit board which should goes in here this two connector here it goes there and then connect to here and then power up these analog hands and then yeah move the hour and the minute hand which also being connected with this one to spring over there so that's how it goes if i tilt the watch this two spring will fall down so i'm just gonna leave it there and i believe that sums it all up right all the parts that made up a g303 g-shock watch and by the way just in case the uh analog, analog hands is broke you could gonna need to remove all this unscrew this and then remove that final replacement if you can but so far that is all that i have to share to all of you guys right now i'm gonna need to assemble it all back and uh, see you guys in the next one see you guys in the short form uh, version of this video which i will be making as well so that's it thank you very very much for watching don't forget to check my patreon page to have access to all this close-up image for this watch and that's all again okay. thank you very much for watching this is Shaz, and i'll see you guys in the next one guys ciao